I literally just now woke up. Well, I mean, I've been up. I just got up. I've been up for a while. <laughs> but just got up. And I went into the bedroom. So that's where I stack all these beadboard. Well, I did this last night. I haven't done anything this morning except drink coffee. Now I'm, on drink, now I'm drinking tea. But I marked this. What I was thinking is I got enough of this board to cut out two. And I've already measured them. And that's what I was going to do today. Cut these out. I, the only bad thing about it is I got to cut an electrical outlet. That's fine. I'll figure it out. I've got a jigsaw blade out there. Jeremy went and checked. I haven't destroyed all of them. I've still got one left. <laughs> but I think that's what I'm going to do today. But look how good this fits. I, I was thinking I'm going to have to frame it in, but it doesn't. It sits. I'm not going to have to. It sits in there perfectly. Isn't that going to be cute? But I'm going to do it, and then I'm also, maybe if I can get, I'm sure I'll have time to start cutting the back to uh, this See, I can't talk. <laughs> this is how I get in the mornings. Well, all the time. Base, baseboard. Yeah, or whatever. Backboard, whatever you call it. I wish I could do it all the way down the wall. That would be so awesome. But they're not tall enough, and I'm not doing any... Uh, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. That would look good, though. Half wall. I don't want to do any seams. I do not want to do any seams. So I'm going to do it up and down. I'm just going to do it right now underneath the cabinets all the way down. And then over here behind the microwave there and all the way over. I think that's what I'm going to do today. I was just going to go out there and start filming me with the, uh, doing the saw horses and getting the jigsaw and everything ready. And look what I realized. You can see it. Uh, let me do it the other way. Hold on. See how short it is? The bottom is flush. See, this is cut out down here. I was thinking it had like a kick plate opening. Right. It's hard to point right there. <laughs> but it's flush. So this is going to be short. The only way I can do it without having to make a seam is either put a frame under it, like the sides, which I could do that. I guess I could do that. Would that be easier? See, this is the times, set the times when I need help. But I get two of these if I do it long ways. If I do it sideways, I'll only be getting one. But I could cut it out exact, and it would go all the way down. <sighs> decisions, decisions. But, I mean, I could use those two pieces for the walls because it would be cut off here. It'd be cut off right there, so I mean that would give me plenty for underneath the cabinet. But I'm going long way, so I'm sh uh, at least one, yeah, at least one. Now I don't know what to do. And this is when I need help, because this would be going sideways, that would be going up and down, and then the one in my laundry room is going sideways. So I guess that would just kind of blend, you know, sideways, sideways, up and down, up and down. <laughs> We're going sideways on here. Because I don't want the bottom of it to be different. I don't want the bottom of it to be different. And I'm not going to build, I'm not going to put a frame on the bottom part. I, I wouldn't like that. It needs to be one piece. And then I need to trim the, put a piece of trim on the bottom. Mm. Let me think. Either way, I'm going to be able to use the scraps. So I'm not too worried about it. I guess sideways. We're going to cut it out sideways. Okay, plans have changed. Ta-da! I fixed my tripod. <laughs> Super glue works wonders until I step on it again. But yay, didn't have to spend another 20 bucks. And then, I think what I'm going 
going to do is go ahead and cut it out, the square, and then put it up against it and go behind it and trace the bottom. That way. This is 34 and a half, but I'm going to bend it up just to make sure. No, it's actually 34 and a quarter, so. Um, I put 22 and a half plus an eighth, and I was like, I can't understand how come I don't know what that is. And I kept saying five eighths, and that's right, because there's four eighths and a half. So there's four, and then you add another half, and that's eight, five eighths. So what I'm going to do is measure the, because it's going to go long ways, 22 and a half, or and a half and another eight. <laughs> the glasses, here we go. I get it started and then go slow. The dogs in. Who let the dogs out? Right. Oh, my back. It works. <laughs> Get this door shut. Let all the cold air out. I feel so good out in there. <sighs> That's what I was going to say. I went in there and had this, and I've got like four more sheets. And uh, I, I'm, I was just saying, I bet you, because I love God and I thank Him for everything. You need to thank Him even in bad times because bad times bring you closer to Him. It's not a curse. You're not being judged. Sometimes when you're a Christian or trying to be a Christian, the devil's going to throw all kinds of stuff at you. But like Job, he asked the God and God said, go ahead. He's going to stay with me. You'll see. And he didn't curse God. He said, he'll, he'll curse you and want to die. He didn't. <laughs> but uh, what I was going to say, the point of that was, I probably have just enough to finish my kitchen. You watch. Wasn't planned because this was supposed to be in my living room only. And uh, we decided we're just going to take the strips out and sheet lock it. So, or I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm not going to do no wainscoting in there. It's just too much. We'll see. Might take me six months to get there. <laughs> no, hopefully not. I haven't done any pressure washing yet. It's going to be great when I get to do the pressure washing. Uh, that's full of water. I don't want to get it pressure washed until uh, I'm ready to paint, though, because I don't want it to get dirty again. Because I'm going to paint. We're going to replace all these boards, and uh, I'm going to paint not the floor, but the rails. I guess I'm going to set this up here. Hold on. Yeah, the uh, squirrel that gets mad at me when I put plants up here, is she knocks them off. So she can walk on the rail. I guess I better wash that. <laughs> what, what do you think? This is gonna be good. Okay, thank you. If I saw my last video, it's only been like a month or so, I think. Maybe longer, I don't know. Because I cleaned this last time. The good thing about doing uh, videos is you keep your house cleaner. Because <laughs> I would have looked at this and said, uh-uh, not today. It's too hot. But because I have to cut that board, I have to. So, like sweeping the kitchen. I mean, I don't want people to see dog hair all over my floors. Because, I mean, it gathers in a day. If you go three or four days, it's a, it looks like you hadn't done it in six months. But my dogs are my blessing, so they're here to stay. They have been for 12 years. <laughs> yep. Whew, man. Break time again. <laughs> Excuse the pajamas, but y'all know what I do. I, I, Justin lounges. Said that before. 
<laughs> I'm sitting out here in this rocking chair taking a small break, and I looked up, and I'm like, I haven't seen my hummingbirds in forever, like days and days. That thing's empty. Look at that. I've got to go in there and make some. My goodness, I'm a bad hummingbird mom. Dang it. There's a little boy. He's got a bright red throat. The boys have bright red throats, and the girls are pretty much green or black and white. But the boys have bright red. They're a ruby red, red throat hummingbirds. All right. I'm going to make that in a minute. I'll show you all how to do it. I just got a phone call from my brother. And uh, he goes, I heard a lot of noise. You coming? And I said, to what? Uh, the baby's birthday parties. My two little nephews are close in age, or close in the date of their birth. And they have the birth party together. And I'm like, I didn't know about it. And then he goes, remember last week at Father's Day we talked about it. That's how my memory is. I've missed two doctor's appointments in a row recently. Yeah, I feel like a crumb now. It's way out in Milton. I would have to get in the, go get in the shower and go, and by the time I got there, 45 minutes, it, they, it, it's not worth it. I've already wore myself out, and my back's killing me. And I'm not driving because I had to take a pain pill. I just feel so bad, really bad. I'm going to have to have help, people to help me remember stuff. I told my brother to always... Uh, Text me and let me know. Golly. All right. I'm feeling really bad right now. Man, I feel like a hill. I feel like a freaking hill. I can't believe I did that. Just cannot believe I did that. Mm. Man. I hope I... Oh. You know what I gotta do? <laughs> you know what I gotta do? I've got to start writing it down, anything in my future, anything, and put it on my fridge and check it every day or the day before. Just check it constantly. <laughs> See here. Farms across California, the number one food supplier of the United States. Now it is just a deserted field with no crops to grow. Mark a circle. What? It's talking to the film. Just mark a circle. Made a circle so I can cut it out with a drill and then I can get the jigsaw in there. 
couldn't find my drill bit, so I'm just going to use the biggest screw that I could find and go in there and make a hole. That, make another one. <laughs> Another. Thank, you. Thank goodness I only got to do two of these. <laughs> Come on out now. There we go. It'll probably fit now. As long as I can get it big enough to where I can set this on top and see the outlet, and then I'll know. I'm going to do a little bit more. You got to do what you got to do, right? That'll work. That'll fit in there. Just got to be careful for it not to kick back on you. Let's try it. Let's try to cut out a little circle. It's already in there. Look at that. Not too pretty but when I get it straightened out it will be so let's oh there it is sorry not too pretty but it's gonna be out here so hopefully I didn't go too far oh well wood putty and caulk I just got finished cutting it all out we've got white boxes we've just got to exchange them for these tan ones so but it's it's back there this fits I gotta cut the other one out. Other than that, I'm done for the day. I'm wore out. I can't go all another day without making hummingbird. I call it hummingbird fluid. Hummingbird water. Don't put that bird. It's good bird. Anyway, this is a half cup of sugar. Well, a little bit more. You can use a quarter anyway. It's just a. Uh, I do a half. It lasts longer because mine's out within a week or so. Hold on. <laughs> Dealing with your husband's, you're like, ring his neck. No, I love him. Okay. Anyhow, ch uh, chalk paint is one part paint, three parts. Uh, one part uh, plaster of Paris with the water. And uh, one part plaster of Paris, three parts paint. I'm really, really tired. This is four parts water to one part sugar. So I got a half cup in here and I put two cups of water. Yep. Golly. Let it boil. Three minutes, cool it off to room temperature. It could be a little bit warmer, but you know, like sun warm, but that's it, not hot. And then wash their feeder, and then I take a funnel and I pour it in there, and that's that. Good night, God bless y'all, thanks for watching. Bye, I'll do another one as soon as I, f I'll finish this up in another one in a day or two. Love you. God bless.